tomorrow. So today we did the 17 down to one pyramid set. Oh man, I, I really forgot how, how grueling pyramid sets are. The, the thing about pyramid sets is that it's, you still do get a little bit more rest than let's say an Imam. But we're working on higher volumes here. So, I mean, I started at 17 reps and I don't, you know, it takes you about seven sets to get to 10 reps. So imagine that 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. That takes eight sets to get to 10 reps. And that's well over 100 pull-ups already. I didn't do the exact count. I'll probably put it on the screen right here. But the exact count is definitely over, you know, 100, probably over 125. I don't know if it's over 150, but we're gonna do that math. So with that being said, I still, still being at his endurance, I was working with a, a minute 30 seconds rest in the beginning few sets. So a minute and 30 seconds, I still feel like that's a hypertrophy range. People, people will tell you one minute to two minutes, or even if you want to push it a little, you know, you can go to 45 seconds or maybe two, you know, to two minutes for hypertrophy. Um, but in the same token of course we need to build muscle to be able to do more reps but at the same time we're working on doing them fast so i incorporate drop rest <laughs> into this routine as well i go i go into a minute and 30 for a few sets and then you might see how the time is uh cutting down a lot shorter which i would then transition to a minute rest and then maybe 45 seconds 30 seconds and then after that i'm going as you know as quickly as i see fit and that um, I really feel my bicep. I feel I feel my biceps a lot. It feels like your arms want to kind of fall off every, every time you get off the bar, you know. And that feeling definitely is very different from strength training. So it's cool to get the best of both worlds doing this style of training. And I am happy that I completed the set. I, the previous I did 16 down to one, and this time I did 17 down to one. I had a time limit i had a time you know goal that i really wanted to work on which was 25 seconds or is 25 seconds 25 seconds 25 minutes in total okay when you're doing higher rep ranges of course it's going to take you a little bit longer you know eventually once i get more proficient at my pull-ups this set i'll probably be able to do it way faster than whatever i get today so very interesting very interesting, higher volume than Imams, but still eventually, you know, still working on hypertrophy to endurance ranges. So we're still getting the best of all worlds right now. So definitely when you're when you're doing your programming, you know, figure out what's important to you if you really do want to keep your reps, if you want to just build strength. If I was fo solely focused on strength, I would build that way faster. But I think I think it's cool to have, you know. A lot of different skills on the belt and definitely have one or two that you really like focus on mastering so i still i still am a master at handstands i'm still you know putting that under my most important things but everything else still needs to be good um with that being said i know this video is going to be a bit longer than probably like 10 minutes right because if i'm still cutting out the reps the rest times it'll, it'll be shorter but at the end of the day, it's power over Vanny at all times. We keep pushing. And yeah, we just we're gonna keep this consistent. So eventually the goal is gonna be the 20 down to one, right? And then I definitely would eventually start to add weight to the vests. And, and then I'll eventually add different variations. So I really wanna start working more chest to bar. I, we only really work <laughs> to get our chin over the bar. You know, the, the beard hairs that I got, that's what's really getting over the bar. But other than that, I don't really wanna work on being more explosive. But that will also trans transition to a stronger pull, you know, a more powerful pull. And what's a really powerful movement in calisthenics? The muscle up, y'all. The muscle up, I, I don't train the muscle up at all. Um, I'm not saying it's not important, but I feel like everything that I train, you know, allows me to still be proficient at the muscle ups. And the only goal I have with the muscle up is not even to get a certain rep range, you know, because depending on how long you rest on the bar, you could do more muscle ups. I've done 20 muscle ups straight. If you guys saw that video about two years ago when we did a, a pizza challenge, me and Islam, we ate a whole pie, 
we did muscle ups to push ups or push ups to muscle ups one or the other I did 20 straight but I was able to rest on top of the bar so that's not really important to me the, what's more important is me being able to lift weight when I'm doing muscle ups so weighted muscle ups would be a goal of mine and then the cleanliness of it so I, I want my legs to never move when I do a muscle up so that would also mean that I need to have a strong pull and I need to have a high pull explosive pull to be able to get over that bar and with no swing whatsoever with all that being said y'all definitely stay tuned and again you can even cool down with something like a rip stick you can even warm up and cool down with it. You still need to work on the certain rep ranges, but this this will tax you know the rest of your central nervous system, <laughs> the rest of your muscles, man. So definitely strengthening yourself up. Copper rips if you don't have one already, we're gonna be going a lot harder on them. They are very important and it can really aid to your training. So many different implements that I'm adding, man, but it is for a reason. It's not just for the vanity, y'all, it's for the power. It's power over vanity at all times. Let's go.